why do we fall ill so the name of the chapter is why do we fall ill why do you get sick what is meant by disease why do you get disease and what are the treatment for these diseases so in this chapter first let's discuss about the introduction so you know natural disasters what are natural disasters natural disasters are like floods earthquakes cyclones so when these natural disasters occur can you prevent them no right so will they have any effect on your health on your well being on the state of being healthy yes if there are cyclones they may be effect on your health like extreme cold temperatures may cause cold may cause fever or any other effect so what is health health is nothing but the state of well being then if the natural disasters occur they will cause you some diseases then we will discuss about what causes all these diseases when the natural disasters occur then you know the body is made up of cells cell is the basic function unit of life then cells are group of cells form a tissue then these tissues make up to form some organs of the body various organs of the body so these cells carry out the various functions of the body cells form tissue and they carry out the various functions of the body all the functions of the body are carried out by cell then cells are made up of chemical substances what chemical substances hydrocarbons carbohydrates fats lipids etc so cells are also made up of chemical substances then cells are made up of tissues then tissues form organs then in various organs what do these cells do they form they do various movements they move from place to place like for example in blood rbc cells are there red blood corpuscles they can they keep moving gradually then cells undergo repair function also dead cells will be re- replaced dead cells will be replaced by new cells if there is any organ damage the cells will undergo repair etc many activities cells undertake then they under cells also undertake some specialized activities in our body like in suppose in nervous tissue what do cells do in nervous tissue they send signals to the brain they transfer messages from the brain to the other parts of the body then musculoskeletal tissue what do cells do in musculoskeletal tissue they help in movement of the body and they support the body they give mechanical support muscles give attachment to the bones right so muscle musculoskeletal here means muscles plus bone muscles plus bone helps in movement of the body and provides mechanical support of the body so all this is done with the help of cells then cells also undergo and cells also carry some specialized activities in the lungs kidneys and brain what do lungs do the help in breathing process and what do kidneys do the help in filtration process urine is formed with the help of kidneys what does brain do the transfers messages to the body various parts of the body helps in proper functioning of the body then all these parts are interconnected to each other all these functions are interconnected to each other even if one part doesn't act there will be called as state of being ill or state of being in poor health so lungs carry out the breathing process kidney carry out the filtration process produce urine then brain carries out the all the nerves the transfer signals to the brain the nerve cells helps in transferring messages to the body now all these are interconnected and all these are necessary together they are interconnected and together they should work properly for the proper functioning of the body so if they don't proper if they don't function properly then you may fall ill so what is ill what is the meaning of falling ill falling ill is nothing but anything that prevents proper functioning of the cells and tissues so all the organs of the body are made up of cells and tissues so anything that prevents proper functioning of these tissues and will lead to lack of proper activity in the body so gradually if any cell is damaged to not function properly and the activity carried out by that particular organ will also be not in a proper manner so that is the meaning of falling ill so what is health and its failure sometimes health you will get poor health you will get disease so what is the significance of health and what happens when you get disease so what is health first of all what is the definition of health the definition of health is state of being well enough to function well physically mentally and socially so the definition of health is state of being well enough to function well physically mentally and socially you have to be healthy so that you can perform all the activities of the body not only the physical activity social activities like moving in the society doing jobs and everything then mental health should be good mental health is the state of your mind your brain your thinking all that should also be healthy 
then what does being well means and what does poor health means so being well means able to perform all the functions of the body for taking the example of a musician so what does being well means for a musician for a musician being well means for example all his lungs will function properly he will able to breathe properly he will able to blow out properly for that musician being well means able to breathe properly his lungs should function properly he should able to blow properly from his mouth for a musician being well means that and for a dancer for example for a dancer what does being well means for a dancer being well means able to stretch his body properly perform all the dance movements then taking the example of your grandmothers then what does being well means for your grandmothers maybe being well for your grandmothers means talking to their neighbors going to the houses of their neighbors and going to the market to get some groceries or vegetables a little bit of walking will be there right if they go to the market to get vegetables or groceries so that is the being well for our grandmothers able to walk properly go to the market and go and go to the neighbor's house to talk to them so being well is different for different persons in the world then what is poor health you should know the difference between poor health and a disease suppose you have loose motions that means you know your your health is not good that means your health is poor but that doesn't indicate what disease you have so that is just the state of having poor health suppose you have headache you have cough you will know that you are having poor health but that doesn't directly mean that you have a disease then what is a healthy attitude then teachers tell you sometimes in the class behave properly have a healthy attitude concentrate on the lesson the attitude is concentrating on the lesson able to listen properly understand what your teacher is teaching that is healthy attitude related to students then what is the idea of being good what is the idea of being good for you students the idea of being good is able to come to school daily able to concentrate on the lessons understand what the teachers are teaching so this is the significance of the health